How we doing hunters? Hoosier Hunter here again with another tech and product review. Today we're going to be looking at the Hog Saddle Pig 0311. So I've had this tripod for a little bit now. I uh, figured I would just come to you guys today and put up a quick review on this. It's a little bit too cold and windy outside today to take it outside and run it through its paces for you. But what I've done so far, I've been very, very impressed with it. It comes in this nice OD green paint job. The whole thing is just a very sturdy, very sturdy build. The legs have this nice large locking mechanism right here. Just slide it up and down like that. Hog Saddle partnered up with Slick to create the Pig 0311. If you take a look at Hog Saddle's website, they do mention on there that they did some testing with several different 50 caliber rifles. This tripod has a 26 pound heavy duty weight rating. So I'll go ahead and show you guys here real quick how I mount my rifle to the tripod. As you can see here, on top of the tripod, I have a ball head. What I did was I bought this um, M-lock plate. Bought this M-lock plate from Really Right Stuff. Uh, I think it was around $40, $50, somewhere around there. But it just attaches directly to my free float uh, handguard. And then what it does is it just slides right in top of this tripod onto the ball head. You see there? Slide it in. Tighten this knob down real good. Get that nice and sturdy. And then you can go just completely hands free and then just turn this knob be on target real quick and easy turn it locks it right in like I say this spring I'll probably take a little bit of time and take it outside and show you a stability durability type test but for now I just kind of wanted to walk you through how I have things set up the ball head that I'm using but this rifle with the uh, coyote light and the suppressor mounted on it full magazine 10 rounds this is a 6.5 Grindle uh, this whole thing's probably weighing 16 maybe 17 pounds I, I would say um, the rifle by itself without all that is is right at 10 but this is very sturdy i've sided it in off of this tripod ball head combo and everything's real real sturdy real secure very pleased with the product so you can see here with the shorter center column and the fully adjustable legs just how low you can get this tripod set up this would be simple just to set flat on the ground right behind the rifle be right at or just below shoulder height um, or from there you got full adjustability all the way up whether you're going to set on a chair set on a log uh, fully standing shoot it about any way you need to so another nice thing with this tripod is that it comes with this hook that goes on the bottom of your center column it would screw in right here that way you can put a little bit of weight on this and it pulls down on the whole entire unit making it just a little bit more rigid if you need that so with that hook in place you could put um, you know your rucksack your backpack just anything with a little extra weight onto that hook that way it makes the whole system just a little bit more rigid pulls that gravity, that center of gravity, just straight down and kind of plants those legs into the ground a little bit firmer. Those spike feet are actually threaded 
and they'll just simply thread into the bottom of each leg. So, you know, if you're in a little bit of mud or just some rougher terrain, uneven terrain, so you can screw the spikes in, and instead of using the rubber leg ends, uh, you'll have some actual material, some metal that would stick into the dirt, giving you some more uh, sturdiness and support. So if you guys are looking for a good sturdy tripod setup, uh, I would recommend looking at Hog Saddle for their Pig 0311. It's great for what I use it for, which is pretty much just coyote hunting and just some fun range time, taking it out to the field, shooting some steel targets. But for what I paid for it, uh, $138, I, I have no complaints. It's, uh, like I mentioned, very sturdy setup. Uh, very happy with it so far. So all I ask if you did like this review is just please subscribe below. Um, like I've mentioned in the past, I plan to keep building this channel, keep providing uh, more product reviews, more tech updates, as well as mainly focusing on my outdoor experiences. Um, I have some video equipment that I've been taking to the woods with me, uh, along with tree arms, a uh, good setup for whitetail, and then I plan to start uh, spanning into coyote hunting and turkey hunting as well. Um, but anyway, just trying to help one another out, providing those reviews and making things easier whenever you're looking into different products that you're searching for, trying to decide what be best fits you. So as always, happy hunting. You can't beat it. Thanks, guys.